Well, let's see what the difference is between these two. Took the old Hawk out of storage. Say what you want about these Chinese bikes, but I definitely got my money's worth out of that Hawk and it's still running great. Of course, you know, bolts vibrating off. The common stuff. Actually, a couple broken spokes in the back, but I actually caught that in a video happening when Motor Rider was driving it. Riding it. The differences between these two bikes. The rear brake master actually has the brake light switch built into it. This is different. This looks like it hangs a little less, which is actually better because that's one problem when you go over a log, it hits the brake. Also, it looks like this rear brake is in a different position. It doesn't have that reinforcement brace here on the Hawk. This has a stop on there too. And that's another thing I gotta tell you guys. If, if you take this and adjust this down because you want your pedal down, what that does, there's a valve in here that when you let off the brake, it lets fluid in. When you push it, it pumps it up and tightens your brake, right, on your disc. If you tighten this up to push this lever down, it pushes that valve up. So now, whatever fluid is in here is in there. So when you, this heats up, if you're riding, it heats up the brake fluid, starts expanding. It has nowhere to go because you got this valve pushed down and the hole's not going back. Normally, if it heats up, it'll push back into here, into your reservoir. If you push this down and that valve's past there, it's not going to do it and your rear brake's going to lock up. And I've heard a few people had that happen. So be careful if you do this adjustment or that adjustment. You got to have that little bit of play. Make sure that that is down all the way or you're going to have problems and you're not going to have a good time. You're going to fall, you're going to have a bad time. Looks like the passenger pegs are a little beefier on the Tao Tao or the Dow Dow. This is the stock carburetor on the Hawk. Shangwei PZ30. This carburetor is actually a PZ30 carburetor. Let me clarify this now. You can buy an aftermarket Makuni carburetor and bolt it on here, but you still have to rejet it like I did. You're still going to have to jet it. Is it easier? It's easier than having to cut these bolts and replace the bolts and all that stuff. Is the Makuni carburetor better than the stock carburetor? Makuni is better, but there's not a huge performance gain, to be honest. It's all up to you. The Makuni carburetor, I don't have one out here to compare it right now, but I'll do one in the future. This doesn't have that little adjustment, but you can adjust it here. There should be a little bit of play here. Where's the reservoir for this? Oh, that's very different. The reservoir is right here. It's built right on it, and so is the switch. They both do have braided lines. I totally forgot the Hawk came with braided lines. Can you believe that? The plastics are very similar. The headlight's definitely different. Let's see, the side plastic covers are the same. Look at that. This plastic cover, though, this is different. And the stickers on these are kind of kind of crappy. I said that before. The seats are the same. The tanks are basically the same with different paint on them. The newer Hawks and the newer Tao Tao or Dow Dow TBR7s all come with burrito tube things, which is nice. This has this does have a chain guard, but this one's put on wrong. Didn't even notice that. Got to flip that around. This does come in a rack, and as you can see, this rack will fit here if you pop this off. I don't want to pop it off because they are a pain to get back on. Here's the original Hawk cluster. Here's a TBR7. As you can see, these are the same. Don't trust them because they're never accurate. And the more mileage you put on, the less accurate they get. This has a shift indicator, and the blinker indicator is the same light left and right. This, they replaced a blinker, left blinker, and put the shift indicator, which is kind of nice. That's the petcock. Giggle all you want. That's off. That is on. That is reserve. 
your choke. That's choke off. That's half choke. That's full choke. Don't drive it around full choke. You can use half choke to drive it around while you're warming up, but make sure you turn the choke off. 8.8 .8 is a harder bolt. The old Hawk. They did not have graded bolts. These pads, they come out. You can use them like that. Or you can do that. I'd say if you're riding more on the road, leave them on. A little more comfortable. But if you're in the dirt, in the mud, I'd say pull them out. I was actually mentioned in a review recently of how these Chinese bikes are actually better built. And they're becoming more used and more of a value. Hate all you want on the Chinese bikes, but pretty much everything, American and Japanese, has Chinese parts. Just the way it is. Are they as good as a Japanese bike? Absolutely not. Should you buy a used Japanese bike instead of a brand new Chinese bike? Well, that's up to you. Because to find a $1,300 used Japanese bike that's not going to need any work is going to be pretty rare. All comes down to preference. And people are hating. Oh, you got to buy the bike and build it yourself? Well, no, you don't have to build it yourself. You can actually have the bike deliver built if you want to pay a couple hundred dollars extra. From all the responses that I've gotten from people that have bought Hawks in the three years since I put that very first video up of my Hawk, TX Power Sports, they uh, seem to be probably the most reliable, I would say. All the information is below. There's a few out there. Choose who you want. But if you do use TX Power Sports, you can use Motor Cheese as a discount and save a few bucks. The engine is a copy of a Honda CG. <laughs> I see it for sale used for more than what you can buy in brand new. That's pretty crazy. I can't wait for the fuel injected Hawk. The DLX. That's coming out in a few months. I'm going to see what I can do to get my hands on one of those. If I get one of those DLX Hawks, that one may go up for sale. Because I have way too many bikes. <laughs> it might. I'd hate to get rid of that because, I you know, that's my baby. Might have to just keep her. When the time comes, we'll find out. So now it comes down to people have been asking me, should I buy a Hawk or should I buy a TBR7? Hmm. Well, there are a few upgrades that this has. In my opinion, preference comes down to do you want knobby tires that are DOT and you plan on doing more dirt riding or do you want more 50 50 enduro tires? Thanks for watching the video. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to like it, pound that like button. If you want to dislike it, pound that thumbs down button. Because there's always haters. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let me know what you think on the bottom. I know a lot of you don't like the Chinese bikes. That's fine. Everybody's got an opinion. Just like assholes. Most of them stink. <laughs> Mine might stink. I don't know. So now you want to know which one is faster? They're both the same exact gearing. Same speed. The TBR7 might be a little faster just because of the tires.